All right, so unit four, lesson four. So now we're dealing with the denominators and factors are in common. So this is where factoring is going to help you. So when you first look at it, you're going to be like, okay, how am I going to get that to be um, the same or common? And in this section, actually, I kind of lied. This is going to be, I think, easier than the last section because last section we couldn't get them the same. So it says perform the indicator um, operations, express final answers in lowest terms, and indicate non permissible. So again, non permissible is right from the beginning. So for part A, I'll just do A quickly. We can't have a zero, 5x, 10x. That will kind of mess things up for us. And so on this one, we don't need to multiply them by each other. Just like if, you know, if we had a um, quick example, if I had 1 fourth plus 3 eighths, I don't need to multiply the 8 by anything, right? I just multiply the 4 by what? 2. Okay, same thing here. I, I can multiply the 5 by 2. And I, I, I have a 10x, and I'm good. Okay, so I'll have 6 over 10x minus 3 over 10x, which we get 2 over 10x, or no, excuse me, 3 over 10x. And that's our answer, with your non-permissible being x can't be 0. And then the next one, you're going to kind of see what I'm talking about in terms of factoring to help yourself out. Okay, so instead of multiplying 5x plus 5 to this side and 2x plus 2 to this side, we want to get the bottom as simple as possible to see what we're really missing. So what does the 5x plus 5 have in common? 5. That comes out as an x plus 1, right? Okay, what's well, the 2x plus 2 have in common? That also comes out as an x plus 1. So look, they both have an x plus 1. But they don't have, if they're missing a 5 and a 2. So that's a lot easier, right? I multiply this one by 2, this one by 5. Okay, that's the key point there. So I'm going to kind of pause. Is there any questions on that? So what we're doing is we're saying, oh, they actually have an x plus 1 in common. So now we don't have to add that and make it ugly. It kind of makes our life easier. So this one would be 8 over um, 10 x plus 1 plus 15 over 10 x plus 1. You can multiply the 10 in if you wanted. I'm not going to. And then 23 over 10 x plus 1. Okay, my non-permissibles still come from the beginning, and it's easier to see in the factor form. They have the same one. What is it? What's my non-permissible? Negative 1. Good, Devin. Negative 1 because of the plus 1. Okay, so non-permissible came from right here. And even if you put a negative 1 here, negative 1 times 5 is a negative 5 plus 5 is 0. You can get to see it that way as well. Any questions yet? Okay, so the third one. Okay, third one's a little bit uglier. Okay, I've had some people, and I'm, if you thought this, I'm not trying to insult you, but I have some people that say, well, just go plus 2x, plus 2x. Okay, we can't do that. It's illegal, okay? Because <laughs> when you add to top and bottom, that's not 1. Okay, that's actually a different number than 1. The only reason we can multiply things at the top and bottom, again, is because that makes it timesing by 1. Okay, so what this factors to is it factors to x times x plus 2. Okay, so this is what we have. We have a x squared and a x times x plus 2. So what is, um, what's this missing? Missing an x plus two, good. And then if that's all, if that's if we put an x plus two over here, what, is, what does this just need? Good. It's just missing an x. Okay. So this one is missing an x plus two, so we put that here. This one just needed one more x to make that x squared, and now they're going to be the same. Okay. So let's do a different color here. So what I'm adding to this guy is I'm adding just an x. Okay, what I'm adding to this guy is a x plus 2. Just like that. And you know you're right when the bottoms look the same. x times x is x squared, x plus 2, x squared, x plus 2. 
All right, so this will give us x plus 2 on the top minus x all over x squared times x plus 2. So my x is what? Up top, x minus x. Yep, they cancel. So your final answer is 2 x squared x plus 2. Okay. All right. Say that again. They are not together. They are together. What's your question? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, essentially, sorry, essentially this is the same thing. Yeah. I'm just putting them together. Okay, um, so my non permissibles negative two from there and then the x zero. Good. Negative two and zero. Smart, smart. Cool. All right, let's get this one done. All right, example two. Simplify saying restrictions the values of x. Okay, so let's just do our non-permissibles first. So non-permissibles because they're easy to see right here. So x can't be negative 1, 2, negative 4. That's my non-permissibles. I didn't do the other two. You don't have to write two twice. Okay. All right, so Liam what is this side missing that the right side has? Like which was on the bottom? X plus, four. x plus 4. Good. So I'm going to multiply this by x plus 4, top and bottom. Okay. Adam, what's this side missing from that the left side has? X plus 1. Good. Everybody see that? Because, again, that's the crucial step. That's, that's the important part today, and you guys are killing it right now, so that's great. Okay. All right, so again, I'm going to leave the bottom as is. 5x plus 20, because I'm distributing the 5 to the x plus 4. So I get 5x plus 20. I'm going to put my plus sign here. And then 2x plus 2. Okay, I know that's going to all be over. x plus 4, x plus 1, x minus 2. And then I'm going to combine my like terms. 5x, 2x, 7x, 22, there's 22, <laughs> all over that stuff. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. We got one more of those, and we're getting to triple denominators. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Celebration. Happy Friday. <laughs> okay. All right. So simplify non permissibles. So again, the easiest thing is you have to bring back your factoring brain and be like, okay, I want to factor that because it's a difference of squares. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go, okay, four over p plus one. P minus 1 plus 2 over P plus 1. So then you're saying, okay, the right side's the only thing I need to change. The left side, I don't need to change. The right side, I need to add a P minus 1. Okay, real quick before I go any further, what's my non permissibles? Plus or minus 1. Okay, are we ready? Okay, so here we go. So distribute that. I get 2p minus 2, so I'm going to have 4 plus 2p minus 2 all over p plus 1, p minus 1. Okay, so do we see 
4 minus 2 is 2. What can I do with that? Take out a 2. We good? So that's where our top is now, right, Zach? 2 times P plus 1. Well, what do we have on bottom? Is the P plus 1 multiplying to something? Like, are these all products? So we can cancel. And so your simplest answer on this guy is 2 over P minus 1. And then now we have yeah, a couple triples here. What's that? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this done here in 10 minutes or so. All right, so now we're going to the triple denominators. So that just, I think when you get the triple denominators, it's a little bit easier to, um, or to me, trinomial denominators, not triple denominators. Trinomial denominators, it's getting crazy. Okay, you just, you always, when you see the trinomials, you always want to factor. Okay, you want, I want to break these down. I need to see what I'm missing. Because right now, when you look at this and that, I don't know what's missing. Uh, I, I don't know. I need a factor. <laughs> so it's just, you just can't do it. So whenever you see the trinomials, okay, think factor. So what's this one factor to? X plus 1, X minus 3, good. So we have X plus 1 and an x minus 3. So now we see what this guy's missing. It's missing an x minus 3. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and try that one. Okay. I'll factor this one down. Y minus 2, y minus 1. Y plus 2. This is missing an x minus 3. Okay, and I'm going to do this one. So over here is missing a y plus 2 and a y minus 2. Okay, so if you're hopefully finishing up this one, let's see if we get the same answer. So it's going to be 2x minus 6 minus an x minus a minus. I'm just going to put plus 1 so I can have all my signs that are taken care of. Okay, all over our x plus 1, x minus 3. 2x minus x is 1x. Negative 6 plus 1, negative 5. Would it be what? 2x minus x is 1x. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. It is x minus 1, but the minus hits it. So it's a minus x, and now it's a plus 1. Minus a minus. You good? Okay. So then our bottom, so that's as good as we get x minus 3, the x plus 1. That one's done. Oh, for our non-permissibles, our non-permissibles come from right here. What's our non-permissibles? Or right here. What's this one? 3, negative 1. Good. Okay, part B. Before we get to our last page here. Okay, so we're going to have y plus 2 times 1 is just y plus 2, plus 3y minus 6. Okay, all over. And give you a little trick here. When you know you're going to be writing it again, you can do this. Just kind of put like, just let yourself know that that's under there. And at the end, you can write it so you don't have to write it every time. Just save you some time. Okay. All right. 
So then y plus 3y is 4y. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Does that factor? Like, we can GCF that, right? Yeah, we can pull a 4 out to make it y minus 1. Okay. And then we can bring in our big long list and see if it has the y minus 1 in it, which it does. And so that goes away. Final, final answer for this one. Y plus 2 times Y minus 2. Okay, remember that minus 1 still is a non-permissible, though. So that non-permissible is still going to be plus or minus 2 and 1. You still have the 3. Do, 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 do. Ooh, number 5 is going to be fun. All right. Final run here. Let's go. Let's finish this. Get you guys off into the weekend. All right. So five. A doozy. <laughs> so now we got triangles on top and bottom. So what do you want to do? <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. So well, that's it for today. Let's just close up shop. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna factor top and bottom. So let's go to Samantha. What's the top factored here? <laughs> so it's got that one. We'll have Samantha get the next one. All right. Samantha, you want to try this one then? <laughs> yep, minus one, minus four. Thank you. Sorry I put you on the spot. Okay, we haven't got called on yet. Connor, how about this one? Good. And gee. I think I've called on everybody. Quinn, you wanna do this one? You don't want to factor that one? <laughs> Just gives me the no. Okay. I'll do it then. Yeah, six and two. Alright, six and two. So now this one's pretty gross because why? What makes this one really bad? Yeah, they're all different. Okay, but what do you notice you could do? Yeah, we can cancel these. So we can go ahead. But before I cancel, what should I do? I should probably write down my my non-permissibles, right? Get those down before I start canceling stuff away. So 1, 4, negative 2, negative 6. Okay, good. And you guys see it, though? That's good. We can cancel here and here. And here and here. So now what we have is we have x minus 2 for x minus 4. Then we're going to go minus x plus 4 over x plus 2. And so we have to multiply them by each other. X minus 4, top and bottom. X plus 2, top and bottom. Remember, leave your bottom the same. Okay, my top left is going to be, oh, there are different squares. That's nice. So, my, okay, see that? X plus 2 times X minus 2 is going to be X squared minus 4, right? And then minus X squared and it should be a minus, but since it's minus a minus, it's going to be a plus 16. Because so it should be x squared minus 16, so it's the opposite, negative x squared, and then plus 16. So, our x squareds go away. Our final answer is going to be negative 4 plus 16 is 12. That's it. We have one more. Any questions there? Did I do anything too quick? Uh, just because it's x squared minus x squared. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's Friday. Last problem here. Any questions on that? Are we sure? We're just too tired to care. 
I called it. All right. Kate. All right, so I can't really factor. So we're just proving that this is the answer that this is asking. I'm proving that when I reduce this, I'm going to get this for the answer. Okay, I can't factor the top. I can factor the bottom, so. Okay, so just to kind of all take care of this one for you guys. A plus 3, A plus 4. Plus 2A, and then I have 3 minus A, and 3 plus A. Okay, is 3 plus A and A plus 3 the same? Yes. So we can count these as they both have it. So you can see what they're missing. They're missing these two. Okay, so this one needs a 3 minus A, and then this one needs an A plus 4. that. Okay. My non-permissibles, just real quick, it doesn't really even ask for them, but I have it in my notes. Non-permissibles will be 3, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, so here we go. All right, so let's do, let's go blue. Big line there. 3 times 2a is 6a. Oh, this one's backwards, but it will. Okay, so 6a, 21. Oh, jeez, I hate when they're backwards. Messes me up. Negative 2a squared plus 6a minus 7a plus 21. That's spoiling that out. The other one's going to be plus 2a squared plus 8a, okay, so hopefully this works out here, so that's going to be a negative 1a, plus that's going to be 7a, um, these go away, my 2a squares go away, and again, 6 minus 7 is negative 1, plus 8 is 7, so what we have is we have a 7a, plus 21 over our stuff, and then 7a plus 21, I can do one last thing, I can take out the 7, which leaves it a plus 3, and we have an a plus 3 in the bottom, cancel, finish, wow, <laughs> way too much of a cross in the 7 there. All right, and that is it for that one. They have a negative. Oh, yeah, what do we do? Negative 7a. Oh, oh. No, that's right. Yeah, I think... You know what? This is a misprint. I actually I know it is because on the notes it magically changes this to a minus. So this should be a minus to get that, but we did the work correctly. So good point. So if we just change that all to a minus, it would have got us that with a negative. Okay, we're good to go.